G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the Savata side pouch. Now this comes in four different sizes. You've got the four, six, eight and twelve litre. Now this is a four litre. So you've got an idea of the actual size and capacity. I've got a snug pack jungle bag in there and we still have room to spare. Material is a 500D Cordura fabric. Not as thick as the actual main packs, but it has a lining on the inside, the same as these, like a rubber lining, which is helps it with being waterproof and it also makes it a little bit more uh, wear resistant. We've got two rows of webbing coming down the front here. And what they say these are for is for you to pass your compression straps on the side of your pack here, through there, so when you compress it, that you pack, you'll be compressing this at the same time and everything's going to be held tight in place. And you've got the room for the bottom and the top. To fit this on your pack, you need five rows of molly webbing, they say, to fit it properly. On the pack back of here, we have one, two, one missing, three, four. But that's not going to be a problem with that one not there. We're going to have four good attachment points. So that's going to hold, hold that on the side of your pack. And again, with the compression straps coming around the outside, that's going to be going nowhere. And you're going to need three rows of webbing coming down. Now you can't fit very much down the middle of this one because it's only a single webbing or one single row of the webbing. But on the next size is up the four, the, sorry, the six, eight and twelve you need four rows, so that's going to be wide enough for you to pass a small axe down there or anything that will go down sort of thing, your poles for your tent or for your bivvy. On the bottom we've got a little metal grommet, so if you do get any water in here or any fine dust there's a hole for it to escape at the bottom. The zips well, I still don't know and I've been trying to find out what make they are but they're good zips, good chunky ones. Work really well. And there you go, that's the snuff pack jungle bag. And you can see how well it fits, we still have room at the top there. And you'll see over the top we have a flap which will protect, protect the zip from any rain or snow or any bad weather. So that's the outside. Now let me show you the inside. I've got my second one here. You can see like that extra lining they put on the shiny one. It's a bit like a, a, a rubber painted on there. All the stitching uh, for this where they attach the webbing or stitch the parts together is not 100% waterproof. There's no lining on any of it. As you can probably see here, there's no actual lining on them. I suppose you could paint some uh, seam seal on it if you wanted to, but for water to actually regress through that, that's going to take hours in a rain or a downpour or any snow. And the best thing to do is carry a, a pack cover anyway for the rain unless you're using your poncho then your poncho will just throw over there and it'll protect this it's not 100% waterproof proof, as you can imagine because the zipper isn't a waterproof one you've got your grommet at the bottom the hole too but in a storm and a rain it's going to be protected oh excuse me I try not to sneeze now what they've done is they've added a pocket here so you can drop it's like the old poop scoop there. That fits in there nice. And it comes through about an inch from the top. You've got a D-ring also. So you can attach your keys, uh, your compass in there if you wish, or you can attach a saw to it so your saw isn't moving around too much. Or the saw, saw can go to that and hang over the front here. So all the options with having a D-ring. You say the material they've made out of the pocket, they've brought around the sides all the way around the bottom and back up the other side. One thing I think they could have done there, they had the opportunity, 
is put another one of these pockets, one on either side, so you have two more organizer pockets to use if you wanted to. But all in all, it's a really nice pack. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on here and show you what they look like on the Yakri Medium. So there you go, the Savota side pouches. That's what they look like on the side of the Savota Yakri Medium. It's a really nice fit. Still got easy access to the zip on the side of the pack. And again, just do the buckles up nice and easy. Needed to use the compression straps. I've got a strap here, let's give it a tug. And it pulls it all in at the same time. So we've still got the full use of the pack and the pouch. But yeah, it fits nice. On this side I've added the second one. And I'll quickly show you what I've got in this one. So you've got another idea of how much these pouches hold. Uh, remember the size of these, they're 230 gram gas canister. One, two, three, and a Tox 550 pot. And they sit in there nice and easy with room to spare. Again, just do the buckle back up on the compression strap and it's all done. So that's the Savata side pouches. And like I said, these are the four litre ones and I've put them onto the Savata Yakri backpack, the medium. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future upcoming videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care